Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Caitlin, and today we are doing another little fan art speed paint. So as some of you might know, one of my favorite current running series is Ruby by Rooster Teeth. So to show appreciation and love for the show, I thought it'd be fun to do a little fan art series of our main team of Ruby. Not just Ruby Rose, but Ruby the whole team, but we are starting with Ruby. I know that's kind of confusing, but anyway, we're gonna be drawing the main four girls from Ruby. So for today's episode, we are gonna be drawing Ruby Rose, the leader of Team Ruby. And if you guys haven't seen the series, I highly recommend you check it out. On top of, I'm gonna be drawing their season four outfits. So at least for Ruby, there isn't a spoiler with her outfit, but for one of the characters later on, there is. So just warning you that there's gonna be kind of a spoiler if you haven't seen up to season four of Ruby. And also I have kind of an interesting vision for these pieces. They're not gonna be like fully rendered with backgrounds and intense shading. I really want them to look like an interesting pinup poster with a little bit more simple shading and really textural. So that's kind of the look I'm going for. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, so I was super excited to start these pieces. I just absolutely love the show Ruby and I have been really obsessed with it. And actually, it's pretty funny. Um, a friend of mine, she's not really into anime as much, but I convinced her to just sit down and watch Ruby. I'm like, look, I know you're not a huge anime fan, but you know, you're gonna like this. It has a really good story, really great characters. Just sit down and watch it. And she absolutely loved it. So if you guys haven't seen it, I'd really recommend checking out. A lot of people complain about the first season because it, it is a little bit kind of anime tropey. I think it was when they were just first trying to feel out what they wanted the story to be and establishing the characters and just establishing the world. So the first season, a lot of people don't like as much, but I'd still recommend watching it because at least it gives you some backstory to a lot of the characters. And then it's a good lead into two, three and four. And I absolutely love season three and four. So if you guys can get through it, you will not be disappointed. Three and four, are my favorite season so far. They're just so good. And what's even better is they started the series with using a program called Poser, which I don't think is really meant for animation. It's just kind of more to pose a character so then you can render it out as an image or use it as a reference, but I don't think its first intention was to be an animation software. But they started with Poser, and now season four is all in Maya. So they have amazing effects on it. They have amazing backgrounds. Just everything got a facelift and an upgrade and it just looks so good. Like it looks like a really high production 3D animation. I mean, season three, they did kick it up a notch. I would say season two was the kind of in between and then season three was, there it is. There's all the expression and uh, amazing fight scenes and everything. It just all got a really big upgrade in season three but then season four hits and now it's all in Maya and it just looks so good. So I'd really recommend you guys check it out. So to get back to the drawing, uh, I'm drawing Ruby, the main character, I guess you could say for the series. Uh, it's R-U-B-Y, it's not R-W-B-Y for anyone who doesn't know Ruby. The Ruby for the title is the team name for Ruby's team and then Ruby has the name Ruby. So it gets a little confusing, but I just wanted to clarify that for anyone who hasn't seen Ruby. But this one was a lot of fun and a really great way to start the series. And I really like Ruby as a character. She's really fun and playful and quirky and she has so many great one-liners uh, in the series. I think one of my favorites, God, I'm trying to think what it was. Um, oh yeah, the part where in season one, where they get catapulted off into the forest and they team up and get their like at least double team before they become a team of four and she meets up with Weiss. And the one thing that I remember the most is her talking to Weiss and being like, after this is all over, you're gonna be like, wow, that Ruby girl is really, really cool. And I wanna be her friend. And I was just like, that's amazing. <laughs> I just love, the little quirky commentary from Ruby, and I i don't really know how to describe it. It's just like fun, stupid humor for a lot of the things she does. Like um, season one, when she runs into Weiss and accidentally blows up some of her dust, uh, and then later tells Yang about it. Yang doesn't believe her. And then when Weiss confronts her, Yang's like, oh my God, you weren't lying. <laughs> it's just, I really, really like the humor of Ruby. Maybe I've just have a, a funny bone that's kind of tuned to that type of humor, but 
specifically for Ruby's character, she has a lot of great moments in the series, and I think she's a pretty strong main character. If I was to have one series critique, though, I feel it's kind of getting into that phase of, I mean, a lot of shows do this and a lot of anime do this, so I'm not saying this is bad, but I'm just pointing it out. It kind of has that symptom of the main character has all of these amazing and extraordinary powers compared to the side characters, which, bear with me, um, I know it's not the case for sure in Ruby, but it just kind of felt like that a little bit in the series. Um, like, Yang and Blake and Weiss and Pira and Jean and all of the characters that are along with Team Ruby, they all have their own amazing abilities and amazing powers. But it kind of caught me off guard when Ruby had the silver eyes on top of her semblance and her powers. And I was just a little thrown off by that. It's not bad. I just noticed that uh, a lot of my friends that I know don't really like her as a character because they're like, oh, they're just shoehorning. Like, the main character has all the great powers and the main character saves the day all the time. And I'm going to counter that and say, no, I think they've actually done a really good job, even though they do give Ruby a lot of amazing powers and I mean hell she's like a little girl holding this giant scythe most little girls can't do that um, I mean they are giving her these type of powers but they also are at least setting it up to not have her save the day constantly or there's always gonna be bad things that happen in this world and I think that's one of the things that Ruby does really well I mean the show Ruby um, Monty Ohm had such a great vision for this series and from what I understand from interviews at least he had the series planned out and written down, so now the current writers can still run with his vision. And I'm really excited to see where his vision goes, especially with, like, Ruby and the, the main team of Ruby. I want to see how their characters develop, and there was just so much that was left open at the end of Season 4. I'm like, okay, well, we're kind of setting it up now. What are we doing? Let's go. And I'm really excited for RTX because I'm hoping to get into the Ruby panel and maybe see some behind the scenes stuff or just see something before the season comes out because God, I was waiting in anticipation because where it left off in season four was like at least a good stopping point. It wasn't like a crazy bad cliffhanger, but it was just enough that I was like, I need to watch this as soon as possible. So I'm glad that it's coming out at least relatively soon. It's not like, you know, in a month, but at least it's, I think by the calculations of how the previous seasons have released. It should be this year, I think? Probably in August? Yeah, I can't remember. I'd have to look it up, but at least we don't have to wait a crazy long time for the next season of Ruby. And I know I just trailed off forever about a million other things besides Ruby herself or the painting, but overall, I really like how this piece turned out and I had a lot of fun with it. And I'll just let you guys enjoy the rest of the speed paint and I'll see you at the end. Bye guys. So I am all done and I really, really like how this one turned out. This was a great way 
to start the series and for me to figure out what kind of look I wanted to go for when I draw the other three girls. And I really like the use of textures and splatters and it's just something different than what I'm used to doing and it was a lot of fun to experiment with and try it out. So thanks again guys for stopping by and checking out this video and I wanted to let you know that this piece is going to be the Photoshop file of the month for April. So if you want to head over to my Patreon you can get this full Photoshop file to check out how I do the layering and what effects I put on different things so then you can kind of see the workflow process. And there's a lot of other cool goodies over there like behind the scenes art, monthly sketch postcards, digital sketchbooks, and a lot of other really cool stuff. So thanks again guys for stopping by and checking out this video and if you like this video I'd love if you left a like down below and if you aren't already you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I have new art videos every week and I guess I'll just see you guys next time. Bye guys! Thank you.